When we think about the holy month of Ramadan, the first word that comes to mind is fasting. In fact, Ramadan and fasting have almost become synonymous terms. If someone were to ask us to explain what the holy month of Ramadan is all about, most of us would probably say that it's the month in which Muslims fast from dawn till dusk. We introduce the holy month of Ramadan as the month of fasting. But the question is, how does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala introduce this holy month? In Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse 185, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala introduces the holy month of Ramadan in the following way. He says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Shahr Ramadan al-Ladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. Allah says, the month of Ramadan is the month in which the Holy Quran was revealed. We introduce the month of Ramadan as the month of fasting, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala introduces it as the month of the Holy Quran. But even fasting, when you look at fasting, you find that fasting itself was actually legislated to enhance our understanding of the Holy Quran. And the reason why I say that is because even when you look at the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs us to fast, He says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. In Surah Al-Baqarah verse 183, Allah says, O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed for you in the same way that it was prescribed on those who came before you. For what purpose? For what objective? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may develop taqwa. Now what's the relationship between taqwa and understanding and benefiting from the Holy Qur'an? Again, if we go back to Surah Al-Baqarah, verses 1 to 2, Allah says, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين Brothers and sisters, we know that the Holy Quran was revealed to all people. However, in verse number two of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah tells us that yes, the Quran was revealed to all, but there is only one group of people who will actually benefit from the guidance of the Holy Quran. And that group is those who have taqwa. Alif Lam Mim Dalik al Kitabula Rayba Fihi Hudan Lil Muttaqeen. When the heart is filled with taqwa, my dear brothers and sisters, the veils are lifted and the light of the Holy Quran is able to penetrate deep into our being. And when that happens, we will finally begin to understand what Imam Zainul Abideen alayhi salam meant when he said in those famous lines, لو مات من بين المشرق والمغرب لما استوحشت بعد أن يكون القرآن معي The holy Imam alayhi salam, he says, if everyone in the east and the west were to perish, I would not experience loneliness because I have the Holy Quran. I have that divine communication. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us of those who recite and study the Holy Quran during the holy month of Ramadan.